Hey guys, I'm Casey Taylor FX and welcome to my very first YouTube video and my entry to the Nick's Face Awards New Zealand 2018. I call this look my Alvin Sorceress. Now let's begin the tutorial. Firstly, I prepped my skin with primer and concealer. Then I pick up my store-bought e.l.f. ear prosthetics and apply Prosade, a skin adhesive to the inside of the ears. I then place them on my ears. I also pin my hair back with a few bobby pins so it's out of my way. Then I adjust my e.l.f. ear prosthetics so it fits nice and snug. When the glue on the inside is nice and dry, I then grab my Kappa patch, which is a thickened Prosade, to blend out the edges. Using a spatula or an ice cream stick, apply a generous amount of Kappa patch to the edge and start working. This part was very time consuming, but be patient, applying a prosthetic to yourself is never easy. So continue working with the Kappa patch until it starts to dry up, then it becomes more easy to blend out. Make sure the edge is as smooth and seamless as possible. You don't want a line showing up when you paint over the top. When you're happy with the edge, apply a small amount of translucent. Now it's time to start painting. I combine white, teal and light blue cream paints together on a palette, warm it up with a brush and start applying it on my face. To create an even base all over, I decided to use both a foundation brush and a kabuki brush. To highlight my face, I apply pure white cream paint on the high points of my face such as my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow and my forehead and then I blend it out with a fluffy brush. Then I pick up my NYX Cosmetics Milk Eyeliner Pencil and place it on the high points as well. Now it's time to paint the rest of my body. I use a larger kabuki brush and apply body paint all over my chest and my arms. I mainly use a white body paint but I also dab on light blues and teals as well. Continue layering the body paint using dabbing motions instead of sweeping motions. You don't want to disrupt the paint underneath. When I was happy with the base, I picked up my splatter brush and started splattering teal all over my face and body. This technique is definitely my favourite as it breaks up body paint and blends the colours together. Now it's time to do the eye makeup. I apply the same white cream paint all over my eyelids, then I pick up a fluffy brush and apply light blues and dark blues in my crease to create a smoky eye look. To make the eyes look more dramatic, I dragged out the eyeshadow towards my hairline and then I picked up my NYX Cosmetics eyeliner pencil in milk and applied it to my lash line and waterline. I then apply black eyeshadow to my eyes to darken the look and then I picked up my NYX Cosmetics Contour Intuitive Palette in Jewel Queen and applied the highlight colour all over my lid. Up next I decided my eyebrows needed some loving so I picked up an angled brush and applied black eyeshadow to the arches of my brows and emphasised the shape. To finish off the eye look, I then picked up my NYX Cosmetics That's The Point Liquid Eyeliner and started carving out my cat eye wing. I started to contour my face but then I realised I needed to highlight my face more so then I picked up my NYX Cosmetics Eyeliner Pencil in Milk and apply it under my eyes and then I blended it out with the same foundation brush. I love the highlight shadow from the Jewel Queen palette so I picked it up again and applied it to all high points of my face and body. Moving on to the lips, I picked up my NYX Cosmetics Metallic Eyeliner in Gun Metal and outlined my entire lips with it. Then I dabbed the Cosmic Metals Lip Cream over top. I decided I needed way more highlight so I applied more to my chest, face and ears. To bring this e.l.f. sorceress look together, using the same Jewel Queen palette, I picked up the purple shade and started drawing the detailing down my face and body. I decided to interrupt my details to contour my face, so using a small brush, I contoured my nose and my cheekbones using black shadow, then I picked up a bigger fluffy contour brush and contoured my forehead, cheekbones and jawline using black shadow and dark blue, and as you see here, I brought the shadow quite far down my neck. 
I noticed my ears needed more definition, so using a small brush I applied black eyeshadow to the ridges of the ears to make them more stand out. Now back to the face design, using the same purple shadow I continued drawing the details down my face. To enhance the colour and to make the purple stand out more, I applied multiple layers of the purple eyeshadow. These designs represent the magical channels that the elf sorceress possess. As you see here, I'm bringing the details down my neck and onto my chest. When I was happy with the overall design, I picked up my splatter brush again and applied purple paint over my shoulders and my chest. I wanted the details to stand out more and to illuminate like magic, so using a fine paint brush I applied white body paint over the purple details. Make sure when painting these white lines that they are even and opaque. Finally done with the white details, it's time to touch up my lips. So using the same gunmetal eyeliner, I lined the entire lips, then I decided to use the purple cos- Using a combination of black and blue eyeshadow, I brought the colour onto my hairline and down my scalp. I also added some more black shadow to my ears and then I picked up the same purple cosmic metals lip cream from NYX Cosmetics and dabbed it onto the edges of my ears. I found this cool futuristic stencil that I decided to apply on my forehead and chest using purple eyeshadow and then I blended out the edges using my fingertips. To tie everything together, I picked up my splatter brush for the last time and applied white body paint everywhere and then after that I applied my fake eyelashes. So that's it guys, this is my entry to the NYX Face Awards. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and head over to my Instagram to see my other looks. Thank you!